And hey, everybody, this is uh, Tim and uh, Business of Wine. Uh, this uh, video is being recorded on uh, December 13th, which is Thursday, but this is the final Wednesday webinar. Uh, I ran into a um, significant technology glitch yesterday, um, and there was nobody on the webinar, the live webinar, so I thought I'd just uh, record uh, the wrap up. Uh, program. So, um, what I thought we would do today is go over the uh, the course, and starting with, um, uh, we'll we'll go back to to the beginning and and seeing if we covered everything to your satisfaction. Uh, we'll have one more webinar, which is next Monday, and um, that'll be the the last uh, webinar. Uh, if I don't get any questions, uh, either by email or if nobody shows up, uh, then uh, that's not a problem at all. Uh, hopefully you're working on your final projects and it's very typical that we cancel the last webinar. So uh, don't worry about it, but love to see you if, you'll, if you do have any questions or send me anything that you want addressed. Uh, then the other thing is that I've, I've got a lot of uh, calls set up um, with, with a lot of you over the next um, week, uh, a few this week and a bunch next week. So if you do want to uh, have a conversation with me directly, let me know and I will be absolutely delighted to accommodate. Um, for any of you who may feel that you're so far behind, you don't know what to do, uh, certainly anybody who feels they didn't get what they wanted out of the course, hopefully I would have heard uh, from you by now, but um, it's still not too late. Uh, another thing to understand that the the uh, Napa Valley Wine Academy website is usually taken down within about a week of the end of class, okay? And the official end of class is the 19th. If you need to access any components of of the online learning management system component, uh, Napa Valley Wine Academy. Um, uh, log in, save the web pages, and then you should be able to uh, to access them to get any information. You have a year's subscription to the Wine Biz Sim uh, workbooks, uh, our financial calculators, and so on, and. Uh, just this morning, I uploaded completely new versions of all of the workbooks, so um, you can continue to play with any of the projects that you've created, create new ones, uh, and look at some of the workbooks maybe that you haven't looked at uh, to this point. So I'll go over that, and off we go. All right. So, so just in review, uh, again, remember, uh, uh, contact me if you need. Uh, be glad to discuss anything with you. And I'm really, I, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of exciting projects. We've got, we've got people who are writing their new career plan. Uh, we've got uh, uh, somebody in, um, on, the, on the East Coast who's looking at possibly opening up a, uh, an inn in the wine country, servicing uh, an area with a, a number of wineries that's growing outside of Washington, D.C. It's pretty cool. One of your classmates is putting together a, um, a wine store or a wine shop and club in Budapest, Hungary, with a U.S.-based wine club that'll be selling Hungarian wines and a fascinating uh, business model, and uh, I'm really excited to see where that goes. And uh, then several of you are actually starting wineries. So uh, uh, really, really enjoy working with you. And I'd love to hear from you over time. Once the class has ended, I was just telling one of the people I was talking to on, on one of the calls, uh, just the last class, uh, I connected somebody uh, who was, uh, uh, their purpose for taking the class was they wanted to become a bulk wine broker. And so I introduced them to somebody who's a bulk wine broker and has their own label that, that took the class five years ago. And I've kept 
kept in touch with her, Meg Murray, and um, and I was able to hook the two up, and uh, and that that person's now in the bulk wine business. So very cool stuff. Okay, so uh, don't look at the screen just a second. I don't want to give you a, a headache. I wanted I wanted to 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 ensure that on the wrap up that we've covered all the material to your satisfaction, and uh, uh, the discussion forum will be open uh, for for as long as as people are interacting on it also and then remember that going forward after this i hope that that you really get uh how pedantic and how cliche uh so many parts of the wine industry are and people think so much about the product that sometimes we lose sight of the actual consumer uh that that we take for granted, oh, well, of course you would want to have this really low yield in the vineyard, regardless of whether that's really true or not, uh, and so on. So the critical thinking part of it, I, I'm, I'm hoping that you'll continue uh, long after this course, okay? Um, and then uh, a recap of the homework, uh, and basically uh, all, all you need to turn in is um, the $25 Red Blend Wine Biz Sim project, then a second Wine Biz Sim uh, project that could be the blending exercise or it can be a completely new project, it could be a case study, and then the business plan to go along with it. Uh, I do not individually grade what you turn in, but if you have specific questions about your project, I'm absolutely delighted uh, to take a look at it with you and answer the questions. Again, uh, I, I won't go through and dissect everything, but if you have uh, issues or questions or areas that didn't make sense, just let me know and we can go over it together, okay? And, and when you're out in stores, when you're looking at wines on wine lists, when you're enjoying wine at home or in a business setting, Again, I, I hope you'll, you'll apply this learning to, to ask the questions. How much did that cost? What's, what's the, the, the quality um, advantage for making this decision uh, juxtaposed against the, the financial uh, decision? Those kind of things, okay? <coughs> so that's kind of that. Um, going through the original... Um, uh, presentation from the very first lecture. Uh, just a recap again: uh, the Wine Biz Sim project, um, and then a second Wine Biz Sim project, and the business plan. Okay. Um, the the ongoing resources also, I hope you've got a better idea where to go to get information, the TTB, if you need to learn about permits, or even writing a business plan, uh, questions about wine labels and laws and regulations and permits and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so hopefully you'll continue with your inquiry and your learning and uh, finding information, all right? And then as, as, as I mentioned earlier, the, the critical thinking, the SWOT analysis, playing the game of who cares and that kind of stuff, and then continue doing your, your homework. If you get something like this in the, um, in the mail, ask yourself, who paid for that or how much did that cost? What's the cost of doing business? And I wonder if they require any obligation to use this $100 uh, voucher can you just go use it once and you're done? Or do they have stipulations that you have to uh, uh, accept X number of shipments and those kind of things, all right? And then again, uh, the, um, the, the videos uh, will be available for quite some time, usually uh, for a matter of, for about two months. Uh, and you've got four weeks to finish all your projects to get them into me if you, uh, if you need to have the uh, certificate, okay? All right, this should start to become just sort of cemented in your memory and, uh, and 
in etched into your neurons uh, that, that this is a supply chain, this is the value chain and, and the different perspectives that people have about this and, uh, and, and what a difference that makes in understanding uh, at a deeper level a lot of uh, the details and the, the minutia about wine, all right? And strategic planning and, and what's required in that, including exit strategies and succession planning, um, supply chain options. We went through systematically for different models of wineries or distribution and point of sale. And then uh, if you'll recall, this was the scenario of making a business decision. If you own a vineyard in Sonoma County, uh, you can consider vertically integrating uh, and, and uh, perhaps uh, uh, mitigating some of the risk and, and flattening out your, your cash flow by uh, also producing some wine or all, all of your wine. And, and how there's this just very elegant <laughs> opposition of when uh, bulk wine prices are high, great prices tend to be low, and vice versa, how that works, okay? Um, the complexity of the wine business and, and all of the, the companies and services and products that go to support uh, production and vineyards and marketing and sales and that kind of stuff. And, uh, and then finally, that it all, begins and ends with the market. And one of the things, I get this question frequently, so I'll just go ahead and address it. You know, where do you start with, with a, 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 a business opportunity in wine? And, and let's say that it's, it's in producing a wine. And some people say, well, I'm not looking at the market. I'm looking at the aesthetics of a product. I want to make a, 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 the best Pinot Noir from this region and so on. Um, like it or not, you're actually starting with the market that has defined what is the best Pinot Noir and why Pinot Noir, and you're probably making that decision because of certain market dynamics. So, so in essence, it all really does begin and end with the market, even though you're starting with a product in, in your planning process, that product is ultimately uh, going to be defined by the market uh, that, that you're shooting for and whether it's large distribution of a certain price point and this and that or whether it's this uh, um, a holy grail uh, uh, unicorn wine that you're trying to produce it'll be you know tiny quantities it does all begin and end with the market okay all right so that's that for the review um, and as I mentioned, this, this will be open uh, for quite some time. And uh, the, um, uh, the discussion forum will continue. And then lastly, the thing that I wanted to show you is uh, as of today, we've got a whole new set of workbooks, um, one of which is the, the new vineyard uh, program. And this makes a really great uh, learning resource that uh, breaks things down. I'm going to go ahead and minimize me and I'm going to maximize this because this is the most complex workbook that, that we've got. And basically uh, what, what we've done with, with the vineyard workbook is you can put in a yield and a price per ton and how many acres and then uh, the workbook will generate some uh, estimates on development costs, uh, annual expenses, and um, uh, your gross margin and for, uh, per acre and then for the entire vineyard. And then what we've got is a, a forecasting and yield matrix that if, uh, if you look, we're at four tons an acre and $3,000 a ton. And so if you go uh, into the workbook, down into this matrix, you can see, well, what if you were able to get five tons per acre and $3,000 a ton, and it'll, 
it'll show you immediately that that your um, uh, uh, margin is going to be uh, signif significantly higher. It'll also kind of show you where the break-even points are. And then also, if, uh, if you ever wanted to, uh, let's say that we wanted to, to look at that crush report that had the 35, thousand uh, dollars per ton but let's say that it's 1.5 tons per acre but and it will uh, uh, run a scenario down here of, of what you can expect your return to be as well okay and it becomes a uh, pretty dang significant <laughs> it and this is uh, at five tons per acre this this would be it so so when you use these inputs, this is the um, this is the direct effect of your inputs. But you can still it'll run you the scenarios if you got two tons per acre, three, four, or five, etc. Okay, and so a uh, uh, little bit new look and feel uh, to these. We fixed a number of bugs, uh, and you have access to these for for a year. Okay, um, all right. So that's about it. And uh, I would like to say that, that for me, it's just an absolute honor. Hang on a second. Let me get out of this. Uh, teaching this course, I, I absolutely love it. And uh, it's been great uh, working with all of you individually as well on your projects and careers and and uh, educational pursuits for the Master of Wine examination and that kind of thing. Um, uh, do, do keep in touch, uh, and I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you got everything you hope you would from the course, and if you didn't. So either way, we're constantly working to improve this program, and uh, 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 we, um, this is now my eighth year of, of teaching it and, uh, and constantly improving and, and making it work better. So thank you very much. And I'll get this posted and talk to you all soon. All the best. Thanks.